Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Donruss Baseball. Eight box, uh, half case, pick your team number two with three boxes being given away. And that's from a different case if you follow the instructions here. Uh, no vet common ship, all non-sports cards will be randomized. For example, the uh, the San Diego chicken and I think there's one other, there's one other person. But um, whether they're relics or autos or numbered cards, we're gonna group all of those, and there's not a lot. We're gonna group all those into one lot and uh, randomize it to one person in the break. I don't think we've even seen any yet, to be honest with you, but just keep that in mind. All right, big thanks to everybody here who picked their teams. I think we did it, got it straight up, no filler, which I appreciate. Stephen Flat ended up with that last spot mojo A's. And let's pop these boxes open. Remember, I marked those with a blue X right there so we all know it's from the same case three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. And of course we'll do a little uh, autograph and relic recap at the at the end along with any you know maybe low numbered cards maybe 10 or less or something like that. All right. And in the Got a little basketball on the background. Celtics up 48-29. So a big, big bounce back game for them. Okay. Uh, if Robert Runkle is in the chat, I think uh, our, our team sent you a, our shipping team or someone sent you an email that they need a response to. So. In case you're listening in the background. Got a got a big slate of baseball games here on a Tuesday. Looks like the couple of some games postponed, I'm assuming due to weather. We've got uh, yeah, inclement weather. Pirates, Tigers are postponed, and Padres at Guardians postponed. Couple games in progress, baseball-wise. The uh, Diamondbacks leading the Marlins 2-0 in the bottom of the fourth in Miami. In Philadelphia, Philly's got a 3-2 lead on the Rangers at the end of the third inning. In New York, should be a good matchup, good series. In New York, the Mets up 2-0 on the Braves, top of the fourth. Uh, some other games. I think it's doubleheader, too. Braves. Second game of the doubleheader. Um, first game of the doubleheader? Second game of the doubleheader. Twins Orioles at zero, just top of the third. Few innings in. Yankees in Toronto, uh, zeros. Bottom of the third, Angels, Red Sox, zero. White Sox Cubs just started. Bottom of the first, scoreless. Bottom of the first, Reds Brewers, scoreless. Ah, the first game of the doubleheader. The Mets won 5-4. Looks, like, uh, looks like Pete Alonzo had a couple RBI singles. Looks like they pounced on Charlie Morton a little early there, too. I think I, I heard or read somewhere that, that as of the start of the day today, it's the first time in history that the, the two... Southern California teams, the LA area teams, and the two New York City teams, first time they've all been in first place at the same time. At least since they redid those divisions. There's uh, Wilson Contreras to 249. And we'll sleeve and topple it all just in the interest of time. We're going to to show them to you, our team will take care of it. There's Salvador Perez, fire emoji to 75. So these are the commons that won't be shipping. That will obviously ship. Rated rookies will all ship. You know, different parallels like that. These two will, of course, ship. So I feel like you're going to be getting most of these cards anyway. There's Max Scherzer, Mets edition to 50. United States emoji. Emoji? Print? Ty France to 2022. I think he's uh, maybe at the start of the day leading the league perhaps in RBIs. A 
What is Nolan Arenado unleashed? Six oh four to nine ninety nine. Got a 2022 Pete Alonzo Diamond Kings. Byron Buxton. We've got a Diamond Kings Tatis Jr. Blue parallel. Not numbered, but of course will ship. So I'll be breezing by those blue parallels. Like that one. That'll ship, but not numbered. And we've got Hans Kraus. Blue autograph are numbered. Four out of 99. Signature Series Auto. And that is for the Phillies. Rick T with the fight and fills. There's Kyle Seeger to 2022. Chad Dawes' favorite player, Kyle Seeger. We got, I think the Statue of Liberty emojis are one per box. There's Chris Bryant, Giants edition to 9.99. Miguel Cabrera to 2022. Brandon Marsh, Wilson Contreras. Got Brandon Belt to 2022. And there is another autograph for Philadelphia, Luke Williams. Signature series for Rick. We got Chaz McCormick to 2022. A Juan Soto hit list to 349. It's a cool pattern. Patrick Wisdom to 2022. Julio Urias, I think he's getting the start tonight. There is Rod Carew, Twins edition to three, uh, 315, looks like. And the relic is Laser Show, Dustin Pedroia. 60 out of 99, that is for the Red Sox. It's gonna go to Terry from Boston. Logan Webb to 2022. Next box. All right, next one. What other matchups do we have tonight? Mariners at Astros. Chris Flexen versus uh, Christian Javier. We got Dakota Hudson facing Brad Keller in Kansas City. Washington has Eric Fed on the mound versus uh, Herman Marquez in Colorado. In Oakland, Rays have Ryan Yarborough, maybe an opener, or Paul Blackburn. And uh, Giants at Dodgers. That should be a big, that's a TBS game for the national audience. I wonder if that's a TBS exclusive or if I could still watch the, the Dodgers network. But Carlos Rodon versus Julio Urias. Carlos Rodon, man, he's been, he's got a 1-1-7 ERA. Julio Urias not doing too bad either. He's 2-5 ERA. Dodgers are favored in the game, although Divisional dogs tend to do, divisional road dogs tend to do a little, do okay if you're looking for value. Uh, and the over under is seven runs. And it could be a pitching duel. Could be like a, a 2 1 game or something like that. Uh, we do have a poll posted 
right now. I know this is a baseball break, but it's a little bit of a longer break. We can kind of float around discussion topics. Uh, who wins game two between the Warriors and the Grizzlies? Against the spread, if you'd like. Uh, Warriors minus two. Road favorites. All right, box two. At Ozzy Albi's Elite Series to 999. You Darvish. To 2022. And what do we got here? Nice. Superstar Scribbles. Shane Bieber. The Beebs. That is for Patrick and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. I don't think I see it. Yeah, not numbered, but I don't think I've seen that parallel or that set yet. Superstar Scribbles. Colton Wong keeping it 100. It's 2 100. And we've got a out of 249, Jacob deGrom, Diamond Marvels, Joe Morgan to 2022. It's a nice one for the Mets. That's going to go to Rick, Rick S. In the Mets, Diamond Marvels, Jacob DeGrom. He's on his way back, I think. Should be back soon. That's going to be... Do the, do the Mets even need him back? There's Brian De La Cruz to 2022. Mets have been playing some great baseball. I think that's what they expected of the Mets last year. We got Drew Ellis, Signature Series for the Snakes. Brody with the Diamondbacks. Diamond Kings, Josh Donaldson to 2022. Statue of Liberty, Jaron Duran. And we got a Wander Franco trending insert to 349. John McCall with the Rays. Excellent start to the season for Wander Franco. We were looking at his numbers yesterday, really good. Hopefully he keeps it up. Shamanaya. Still A's edition here to 2022. Cal Quantrill to 241. Cody Bellinger started off the season cold, had a really hot week, and then has had a really cold week, so kind of up and down for him. 2022 Tyler O'Neill. I think, I think he's kind of settled into a swing. It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. 2022. His at bats have been pretty good. He's still been getting on base with some walks here and there. So hopefully he has a good May. Jared Walsh, a little bit of a slow start for him. Hopefully he heats up. And there's Toronto's Gabriel Moreno. That is to 999. Thought that was gonna be a lower number. Joseph with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. There's a Wander Franco rated rookie. Rex, what's going on? Uh, there's Jordan Alvarez 2020. You see Miguel Sano having time have surgery? What's time have surgery? There's Wander Franco rated rookie. I wonder if Rex was trying to say. Rex has got to work on his uh, typing skills here. Uh, there's Frankie Montas to 2022. Having to have surgery. What kind of surgery? It's Joey Votto, 34 out of 99. That's for Cincinnati. That's going to go to 
Jeremy Harder and the Red Legs. Hmm, that's not good. How long is he gonna a meniscus tear? So some sort of knee issue? How long is he supposed to be out? There might be a little bit of adversity for the for the twins who started off the season doing pretty well. Isn't Byron Buxton injured as well? Has a little bit of a knock. Yeah, Twins are uh, Twins are 14 and nine on the season going into this game with the Orioles. They're, they're still scoreless at the top of the fourth. Looks like we have so far we have eighty seven percent of voters are saying that 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 Golden State minus two road favorites are gonna win. Overwhelming. That top camera there looks a little dark, right? better. Twins manager Rex is reporting that there's no timetable on a Miguel Snow return, but could be could be a season-ending injury. Hmm. Thus far, over 17 games, Sano has been, uh, yeah, struggling. Maybe that knee has been bothering him. Hitting under 100, only one home run, a few RBIs. Next box, good luck. Stand, stand the man to 2022. Juan Franco Blue. Whit Merrifield to 9.99. dollars I don't think we've seen too many rated rookie parallels for Juan Franco. So there you go, John. Not numbered. Pretty nice, good looking card. Kyle Tucker to 400. Austin Hayes to 2022. And there's Bomb Squad, Bryce Harper to 349. It's a cool looking insert. I like it. Going to uh, Rick T and the Phillies. Cal Raleigh to 2022. Josh Donaldson to 2022. And we got Bo Bichette, piece of his jersey, going to Toronto. That'll be for Joseph and the Blue Jays.
Chris Bryant, Kershaw, Jared Kalanick to 41, 3 out of 41 for the Mariners. That'll be for Stephen Flatt. And we've got Eli Morgan for the Guardians. Patrick Davis. Cleveland, this is for you. Got John Means to 100, keeping it 100. I think he's getting Tommy John, so long road back for him. Gavin Sheets, Byron Buxton trending to 99 for the Twins. Jose Ramirez to 2022. Babe Ruth to 2022. Jazz Chisholm trending to 99. Matt Chapman to 2022. Carlos Correa to 2022. My apologies to these cards here. We've got down here Aaron Ashby. Barry. Barry Roberts with the Brew Crew. I think part of that Ashby family, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am, but I'm pretty sure he is. There's Sal Perez to 2022. Sean Manaya. Doesn't say on the back of the Aaron Ashby card, but I'm sure he's related to either Andy or Alan Ashby. All right. Xbox. Uh, about this far into the break, Terry. That far into the break. Like after a little groin strain scare, Otani's back in the Shohei Otani's back in the Angels lineup, set to pitch on Thursday. Reds placing the slumping Joey Votto onto the COVID IL. And uh, Clevenger's return pushed to Wednesday after the rain out. Dodgers unveiling the MLB All Star game plan, spanning. Uh, Santa Monica Pier to cities downtown. I'm in Santa Monica. I'm near the pier. From the stadium to the sea, according to the Associated Press, the Los Angeles Dodgers unveiled plans Tuesday. That was earlier today for the summer's MLB All-Star Game, the franchise's first time as a host in 42 years. When is it again? Uh, ju early July, I think. July 19th. Dodgers game been scheduled as a site in 2020 before the COVID pandemic shortened the season and the game was canceled. Last year's All-Star Game was in Denver. The stadium, LA Live in downtown, Los Angeles, and Santa Monica Pier, located 18 miles west of Chavez Ravine, will be the backdrops for the event starting July 15th. No city and no fans have supported their team like the Dodgers fans have, team president Sam Cashman said. They're hungry for this game. They're very excited that they're going to have it. The All-Star Game is July 19th. I hope I make it, Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw said, an eight-time All-Star. All the road teams that come in, Get to play here. They say what a great place Dodger Stadium is. We're excited to share it. Capitalizing on the 42 years since they hosted, the Dodgers will be honoring Jackie Robinson, who number, wore number 42 when he broke the color barrier for the franchise 75 years ago. His widow, Rachel, turns 100 on the day of the All-Star game. So a lot of uh, opportunity that came from Jackie and all the other players that kind of came through. Dodgers right fielder Mookie Betts said. The Futures game and the Celebrity softball game will be played on a Saturday for the first time. The Home Run Derby is July 18th, the same day workouts will be held. The Play Ball Ballpark 
The Play Ballpark will be uh, set up at LA Live, featuring baseball and softball, music, red carpet for the All-Star players and their families. To strut their stuff before being shuttled to Dodger Stadium, some indoor events will be nearby in the convention center. Oh, and the MLB Draft uh, begins Sunday night on outdoor plaza on an outdoor plaza at LA Live. There's a lot of things happening here. And then from Friday through Saturday at the Santa Monica Pier nearby beach, fans can attend free events that include instructional youth baseball, softball, daily yoga classes, baseball themed sand sculptures, batting cages set up on the pier. MLB will join Heal the Bay to stage a beach cleanup on. Uh, July 16th. Interesting. All right, all right. Got to check those out. I'd like to see some baseball-related sand sculptures. Seems kind of cool. It's Kevin Gossman to 500. And there's another Unleashed car, this time to 99, Raphael Devers. Something else you just read on Fangraphs, Rex, saying 202 pitchers in 2017 in Tommy John surgery, 19 didn't, didn't play at all that season. Supposedly 26% of pitchers in, in the history have had it. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. It's Josh Donaldson, 2022. There's Greg Diekman for the Cubs. Obviously, Tommy John, it's more, can, they can identify that a lot more easily nowadays and with the surgeries being so successful at a high success rate it's not like a scary thing anymore so I think more players are opting into it it's Austin Hayes 2022 and look at this 7 out of 25 Shohei Otani bomb squad The 19 of, that's for the Angels, by the way. Rick, Rick S. with that one. The 19 of them didn't play at all that season. Seems like a weird way to put that. Because most of the time, aren't you going to lose the season if you have Tom again? I suppose it's, I suppose it's, I suppose it comes down to when you get Tommy John, obviously. There's Cal Raleigh to 2022. wonder how many non-pitchers get Tommy John. I I don't think it's as common because most players actually, you know, just with the repeated motion, you are going to have uh, ligament issues. So most pitchers are going to have some sort of UCL tear in their arms. And most ball players will, but obviously position players aren't aren't throwing that often, so they could easily play through it without losing anything. Corey Seager, though, did get, I think, Tommy John surgery. But the recovery for position players is a lot more quick. I think for pitchers, I think it's like, it's pretty much 12 months. Position players get, I think, I want to say it's half the time. There's Seth Beer for Arizona, Brody. I think that's the reason... That's a reason for taking pictures out of the game earlier. Well, probably, yeah, probably, just for injury. But, you know, I think they've been taking pictures out of games earlier for the last decade. It's Babe Ruth, 20, maybe, maybe more. But I think taking pictures out earlier, I don't know if Tommy John is really the overarching it is probably a reason but just overall health not specifically Tommy John but I think uh, I think it's just strategically right yeah pitchers aren't going past the seventh inning but yeah that's been a trend for a long time this is not nothing nothing new so yeah that's not that's not a new thing Rex but it's I think more and more statistics have shown that if you go through, you know, most pitchers, you know, there's Alec Baum, Relic for Rick T and the Phillies. Most pitchers, once they see the order a third time, which is usually sixth, seventh inning or so, um, hitters do significantly better against them. So that trend the last 10, 15 years has been uh, 
has been, hey, you take them out beforehand, get the fresh reliever arm in. There's the 999 Oakland edition of Matt Olson. And so that specialized reliever has definitely been a reason why. There's a Jake Berger, rated rookie to 25. Nice low number there. So that's been happening for a long time. This year is even earlier? Right, and why is that? Short spring training. A lot of pitchers have not been stretched out yet. Jeremy Harder with the White Sox. So, yeah, a lot of pitchers only going maybe four or five innings as they kind of get it early on in their first few starts as they're as they're getting their pitch counts up. You know, so they gotta get they gotta get their pitch. So a lot of a lot of times players are getting into like 75, 80 pitches by the fourth, fifth inning, so they're they're getting pulled a little bit earlier. So every, everyone kind of everyone kind of knew that with that short spring training, it's going to probably affect. Well, I think it affects everybody. I think hitters, some some hitters may need a couple extra weeks of spring training to get, um, you know, just to get some timing down. Pitchers definitely need to get their arm strength up. You know, so when when people were up in arms over Clayton Kershaw not having the chance to, you know. Not having a chance to throw a perfect game, you know. As a fan, I'd want to see it, but but you know, Kershaw, who had some elbow issues last year, avoided surgery, didn't even pick up a baseball until January, had a short spring, you know, and wasn't really throwing any competitive pitches until maybe he got one or two starts, and maybe got stretched out to 50, 60 pitches. So then you get, what, first start of the year, kind of cold Minnesota. You know, at that point, you can kind of understand why that decision was made. I think by May, you should probably start seeing, seeing pitchers kind of fully stretched out. I think most starters should have, should have their third or, should have like their third start under the belt, belts for most, third or fourth start, so. By like fifth or sixth start or so, I think you're going to start to see uh, start to see pitchers more stretched out and more comfortable in the in a in a good groove. All right, right. Yeah, imagine if Kershaw got injured. Well, it's, you know, if you're a manager, you can never win, right? There's Trey Mancini to 2022. If you leave him in and he gets injured, you know, you get crushed for that. Why didn't you take him out earlier? It's the beginning of the season. And then you'll get crushed if you don't leave him in. Why wouldn't you let him chase history? There's Camilo Duvall, San Francisco Giants, John McCall with my rivals. I think that's numbered, John, but... Here's your signature series auto. It's Charlie Blackman to 2022. Here's Max Muncy trending to 349 for the Dodgers. Kyle Schwarber to 2022. Still, uh, that's still a Boston edition there. Nolan Ryan, Joe Ryan, and there's Clayton Kershaw. It's Tom Terrific to 2022, the original. And we got a Brandon McKay relic. He's still battling back from some injuries. He was supposed to be sort of a two-way, a, a two-way player like Otani, but he has not really materialized as of yet. There's a nice Dodgers prospect, Andy Pagas, to 9.99.
Zach Wheeler to uh, 500. Luis Roberts, 2022. We've got Lance McCullers, Alec Manoa, who I think is starting right now. Bo Flo's variation. Blake Snell keeping it 100 to 100. And there's a Mike Trout Diamond Marvels to 249. These are pretty cool. That'll be for Rick S. and the Halos. There's Bren Lau to 2022. Yelich. Another Wander Franco rated rookie. This Lance Lynn to 46. John with the Rays. And we got a Gavin Sheets autograph. Nice. I think the uh, I think the Cubs and the White Sox are playing each other, right? Little little inner city action here, and uh, the White Sox are up three nothing on the Cubs in the uh, in the third inning. Did Gavin Sheets do anything here? No, it was a burger reaching on an infield single, scoring a Brayu, McGuire sacrifice, and then a inning later, a Tim Anderson home run, solo shot. Sheets 0 for 1 on the day. Josh Hader. I think already had double digit saves for Josh Hader. Pete Alonzo, Carlos Correa Elite Series to $9.99. Kike Zimmerman, 2022. There's uh, Mitch Hanniger, I think just stars parallel, but not numbered. And there's Brandon Crawford right there. All right, next box. All right, all right, all right, onwards. A's activate Lou Trevino from the IL. We saw the Votto news. He's on the IL. They activate Tyler Stevenson. Anibal Sanchez on the 60-day IL. Rex talked about the Miguel Sano surgery. Uh, Angels option Joe Adele, huh? Hmm, that's disappointing. The Angel announced this afternoon that they've optioned outfielder Joe Adele to AAA Salt Lake. Utility man Jose Rojas has been recalled to take his spot on the active roster. Adele's been considered one of the sport's most talented young players for some time. According to MLBTradeRumors.com, Baseball America slotted him among the top two prospects in the Angels' system every year between 2018, his first season being selected 10th overall in the previous draft, and 2021 when he exhausted his prospect eligibility. Heading into last year, 
Baseball America ranked him the game's 13th best prospect. Evaluators raved about his combination of power and speed, but the 23-year-old has yet to establish himself at the major league level. During the 2020 shortened season, uh, he broke into the majors, played 38 games, slashed 161, 212, and 266. Spent the first half of last year on optional assignment, beginning the season at the alternate training site, went to Salt Lake. Through the end of July, he was hitting better. So, yeah. He broke camp with the big league club this year, but has gone off to disappointing start. Through uh, 66 plate appearances, he's hitting 231. He's slashing 231, 242, 431. Three home runs, four doubles have led to a reason, respectable slugging output, but particularly in the context of a brutal offensive month league-wide, but he's punched out 24 times while drawing just a single walk. And he's been rough defensively, too. All right, so he's just going to have to figure some things out, I guess. It's Jaron Duran, Duran to 220 for the Red Sox. There's Kettle Marte to 75, fire emoji. You know what? I have not seen any San Diego chickens. There's the 149, Bo Bichette. Those non, uh, the, the cards that are not associated with the baseball team will be randomized as one lot to one person in this group, but we have not seen any. I think there's only two names on that, on that checklist, but no, there's Zach Wheeler to 2022. There's Austin Riley to 2022. And there's Josh Hader, piece of his jersey. Yeah, and no, is that the other, the other person, Domingo? Is it Domingo Ayala who does all, a lot of the YouTube baseball videos? There's Hader for the Brew Crew. And that'll be for uh, Barry, Barry Roberts. Jim Tomey to 2022. There's the hit list, Tim Anderson. Uh, that is to 999. He's got a solo shot today. Tyler Maley uh, to 210. Pops, we're Willie Stargell. Lance Lynn to 2022. And we got a Jonathan Stiver retro autograph for the White Sox. That's going to go to Jeremy H. Frank Thomas of 2022, and another blue Wander Franco rated rookie. Having a great season already. Let's hope he keeps it up. And we've got a unleashed Rhino, Ryan Sandberg to 349. Jake McCarthy, 2022. Christian Yelich to 500. And we got a Vidal Bruhan, 70, uh, yeah, 75 out of 99 for John and the Rays. Yeah, they really do. The Marvels, Unleashed, Bomb Squad. We saw a really cool, I'll, I'll show you in the recap, but we saw a really nice Otani Bomb Squad to 25. 
So it had like an aqua background. It's 2022 Aussie Albies, which I thought looked really sharp. I don't know what those go for on the secondary market, but I'm sure it just looks nice visually. O'Neill Cruz to 9.99. Jonathan India, 2022. And Kershaw, blue parallel color match. All right, two boxes to go. No worries, Rick. Have you looked that up on the secondary? What, what does that go for? I mean, regardless of the value, it's a cool, a cool car. Now I'm curious. We have not seen a whammy card yet. Is that what they're called, a whammy card? That that insert is is really short printed. There's maybe maybe one or two per case. Actually, we did see two in the first half. Let's see if we can see a third in the second half. But I know they're not super common. Yeah, no rush. I'm, I was just curious. Let's see what that Otani could go for. Was it yesterday? I pulled all the great cards yesterday. Wow. Rick is saying uh, is saying 13 bids on an Otani Bomb Squad to 25. 13 bids already at $282. That'll cover the spot. By the time that auction's over, it'll cover the spot for sure. Score updates? Any changes here? Yeah, Diamondbacks... Stretching their lead to 5 nothing, bottom of the 6 over the Marlins. Rangers and Phillies are tied at 3. Mets still have a 3 nothing lead in the top of the 7th over the Braves. Twins have a 2 1 lead on the O's in the 5th. Blue Jays a 1 0 lead on the Yankees. The Yankees have only been one hit. They've been one hit through 5. Oh, that's a sold price, 280. Still good. Still good. I like it. Alec Manoa. Maybe it's, I don't know. I know the pitcher market, the pitcher market, not as good as the hitting market, but Alec Manoa could be a big name in the hobby if he keeps pitching like this. Through five, he's one hit the Yankees who've been hitting the ball really well. No earned runs, seven strikeouts. Doesn't look any walks. I don't think, I don't think any walks either. Maybe one walk pretty good 72 pitches 41 for strikes looks like he could probably go a couple more innings Clayton Kershaw dominators yeah, I agree, MPK. It seems like the the seems like the the short printed insert that you could find in here have created a really nice chase and really good value for these Donruss boxes. I don't think we have another break after this, but we'll dig up some more of this Donruss baseball. So keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Diamond Kings Tatis Jr. to 2022. And we got Will Clark, Will the Thrill. John with the Giants. Yeah, he, he had a pretty cool, pretty cool swing. My cousin, my cousin Dan is a lefty. Kind of emulated that uh, uh, Will Clark batting stance. And a plate. Freddie Peralta, one of one. Nice, yeah. He can strike out a lot of guys. That's pretty cool. And uh, Brewer. I don't know why I blanked on that for a second. but Brew Crew. That's going to be for Barry Roberts. Barry, printing plate. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. 
out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. Didn't have the team name on there for a second. We got Eloy Jimenez, 249 Elite Series. I think he's out for a little bit with a with an injury. There's Kyle Muller, to 2022. Terry saying people are going nuts over McGill cards. The the Met McGill. There's Yachty to 75 fire emoji. And there is Riley Adams uh, for the Nats. That's going to be Jacob Glenn with the Nationals. Matt Olson to 2022. There's the Frank Thomas Unleashed to one uh, to nine ninety nine. Trust me, she'll like it too. Trevor Hoffman to twenty twenty two. Pretty incredible change up from that guy. There's another Wander Franco rated rookie card. Going to John in the Rays. Robbie Ray to 2022. That is Seattle edition. And we got a Colton Welker for the Rockies. That's going to go to Jeremy and the Rocks. Who was actually, you know, kind of su surprised, surprised me. They had a, had a pretty decent start to the year. See if that's sustainable, but Rockies a good start to the year. It's Trey Turner, hit list to 999 for my Dodgers. It's gonna go to Justin. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 2022. And we got a crosstown rivals insert. We'll do a left-right randomizer on that. There's Yelich to 2022. I mean, I'll just do a team random on that. Corbin Burns to 234 and Brandon Marsh. I feel like I've not seen a lot of those Crosstown. In fact, I would even argue that that's the first Crosstown Rivals card that I've seen. So that's a, a Cubs White Sox randomizer. Actually, no, we're waving off the randomizer. We're waving off the randomizer. Jeremy Harder has both the Cubs and the White Sox. And it's got both. So there you go, Jeremy. I don't know how short printed that is, but I feel like we have not seen any. So uh, up to this point, at least, not in the first half anyway. So that might have some sneaky good value there. We made it. Final box. Yeah, it's going to clock in just a little over an hour. Thanks, everybody. Let's check in on the... Uh, let's check in on the basketball score. Yeah, Celtics still leading comfortably. They outscored the Bucks 32-21 in the first quarter. They outscored the Bucks 33-19 in the second quarter. Still doing the three box giveaway. Why wouldn't I? Carrie? Imagine if I just said, nah, not anymore. We're gonna, you're gonna take the rug out from under you. People would riot.
No, there was no deadline on that. That's still, I think it's still in the title of the disc. Yeah, still in the title. Pick your team two, three boxes given away. Need two plus teams. No. If there's a, if there's like a, a deadline, we'll, uh, we would, we would ex put that explicitly in the description. And in fact, that's why you can notice on my face camera, right? that's why I've got a few boxes right over here. Yeah, and if it's another, if it's like a, if it's another, if it's a deadline related thing, like at the end of the night, I would have taken out the three boxes given away or something like that. So it, it wouldn't still remain in the title, just for future reference. The tonight, a tonight only situation doesn't happen too often, but it, if it does, it'll it'll happen with like, hey, we're giving away a couple spots within the break or something like that. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. And uh, thanks for getting in. Thanks for making all this happen. We appreciate it. We'll, we'll dig up some more Donner's baseball for you. So get into it next time you see it. Don't miss out. Got unleashed Ken Griffey Jr. to 349. Logan Gilbert, great season for him too. Great start, 2022. There's Alec Manoa, that'll ship. Chris Bassett, A's edition, 2022. And behind Andre Jackson is, is, there's the Alex, there's Angel Zerpa for the Royals. Rick S. with KC. There's Aro Zerania to 2022. Cedric Mullins to 9.99. There's Burt Blyleven to 2022. Max Muncy to 2022. And a Jose Reyes relic for the Mets. Rick with that one as well. Jeremy Harder saying that Cross on Rivals card is a super short print. Beautiful card. Nice. Any idea what that's going to go for? A couple nice players on there. And a nice Julio Rodriguez rated prospect. Art to $9.99. No, I haven't seen any downtowns. But the uh, the I think the whammy card is like is like a one or two per case sort of situation. There's a cool Otani in here that I'll show you in a second. The Otani was bomb squad Otani to twenty five, a little bit of an aqua background. Um, Rick Serrano looked it up and said it was like already sold for like a few hundred dollars. Hit hit list Yuli Gurriel to ninety nine. And yeah, the marbles are nice as well. It's Jake Myers, 2022. Let's see if there's any other low number stuff we can get. Frankie Montas to 75. He is a popular trade target, I want to say. Lucas Giolito to 2022. And another Aaron Ashby autograph for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Barry Roberts. There's Nate Lowe to 2022. 
Nate Lowe and Brandon Lau, I think, used to be on this on the Rays together. All right, gang. We're going to give away a few boxes, and then we'll do a recap. But first, who's going to win those boxes? Let's flip back over here. Sort by your first name. So if you bought at least two teams, get one entry. Four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. If you follow those instructions, you got a chance of winning a sealed box. Barry bought two teams. That's an entry. Brody bought two teams. That's an entry. Jacob, two teams. That's an entry. Jeremy bought four teams. That's two entries. John bought two. That's an entry. Joseph with two. That's an entry. Justin with two. That's an entry. Uh, Patrick with two. That's an entry. Rick S. with four. That's two entries. Rick T. with one. That's an entry. Stephen Flat with two. That's an entry. Terry with two. That's an entry. Travis with two. That's an entry. I think every single person got an even number of teams because there's 15 entries. Perfect. Thank you. So, new dice, fresh list. So it's gonna be, let's roll the dice. We're gonna randomize that list five and a two, lucky seven times. Top three after seven gets a sealed box. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and fingers crossed, seventh and final time after seven. John, Terry, and Jacob. After seven times, lucky seven, congrats to you. A sealed box of Donner's baseball going your way. It's probably gonna be shipped separately from your from your hits, so they'll, they'll, that might come a little bit later. But congrats to the three of you. All right, hey, let's check out the break. Not too shabby at all. Got the nice Crosstown Rivals. Some Wander Francos, that printing plate for Milwaukee. Blue Wander Franco. Gavin Sheets. That Jake Berger was a 25. There's that out of 25 bomb squad. That looks really sharp. It looks just I gotta take a picture of that. Just visually, it looks really cool. More Wander Franco blue. Wander Franco trending. Shane Bieber, Superstar Scribbles. I think this is the first Superstar Scribbles that I've seen. Luke Williams and Hans Kraus started things off for us. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.